Hello everyone, welcome to Speakeasy. I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. We are the Dirt Road Men. A little whiskey with the cigar. A little cigar with the whiskey. So we are trying a uh, local brand of cigar this week. But uh, we double checked and you can order these online, I'm pretty sure. You told me you double checked. Yes. It's, it's been a while now, but that's yeah. when I decided to do this review. Anyway, this is the Gunslinger Snake Oil. It's made by uh, Outlaw Cigars. They, they're a local cigar shop to Kansas City, and they're they're pretty good. Uh, they're a little high priced as a cigar shop, but I've never they're there's one shop I like better than them, and I've been to probably a half dozen in the area. Also, I just felt like wearing the hat for this video. Uh, let me know if you like the hat. Maybe I'll keep it. I like the hat. Oh, I know you like the hat. I like the hat. Or I wouldn't have put it on. You would have bought it. I sure as hell wouldn't have spent as much money as I spent getting it. Still haven't got my refund for sending the other one back. Oh. I haven't told my wife that yet. Hopefully she doesn't watch this one. I don't know if she still watches our videos. I guess we'll find out. Uh, put the knife to your throat. So the snake oil is like a four dollar a stick cigar, at least in the size we have here. Well worth it. Yeah, it's the non flavored go to. Like if I want a go to cigar that's not not flavored, like an Isla, uh, which I've come to prefer, then I will go get a snake oil. Now, of course, that also means I'm required to be in the area that Outlaw's in, which is uh, a good 30 to 45 minutes from my house. But so's uh, our cigar shop. It's just in the other direction. I'm over here sniffing the Eagle Rare. We finally filmed an Eagle Rare review that you'll get to see long after you see this. <laughs> months. Uh, maybe not months. Weeks. How many... I don't even know. I've well, lost track. We've got a few built up. On whiskey reviews. Yeah. But, uh... No, then they'll probably see this long before they see the Eagle Rare. That's what I said. Oh. Okay. You'll probably see this long before you'll see Eagle Rare, if oh, I yeah. say that correctly. Oh, yeah. You'll see this in, like, two... This is going on Friday. Oh. So... I space out our budget cigar reviews, and we reviewed a couple at once. So, last one that went up was the Nub Cappuccino. I have to go to the shop after this. Why is that? Mm. The cigar is still in the fridge. Yep. <laughs> we need to move it to that fridge. Yeah. Dad's going to fix my AC here in a week or so, so we can be back out there if we want to be. Maybe mm -hmm. not for videos, but for other stuff. Yeah, just hanging out. Yeah. Something about hanging out in the garage that I really enjoy. Not that I don't really enjoy hanging out in the speakeasy here. But. Let's say we and Seth's friends want to hang out on the same night, and we want to be alone and be able to talk about stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean... Years. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was trying not to be a jerk, but they, they make a lot of noise. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> they don't realize it, so I don't I don't complain at them, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a poker table off to the side here. But it's not on the table right now. Wait, is that what the poker part came on? Yeah. Oh. It's right over there. Apparently oh. it's a fold-up poker table. I didn't know that. I thought it was all one table. I did too. That's so cool. Yep. Anyway. it would be cool running the black table. The. It would. With the wrought iron and stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. So anyway, anyway. Uh, with a, the snake oil, it's a natural, and I get a lot of like lighter flavors. There's a more of an ashy tobacco flavor in this cigar than some others, and you get that a lot in cheaper cigars, I've started noticing. Um, and 
one uh, sign that it's a cheap cigar. The only real sign it exhibits besides that light flavor is uh, it'll flake at the ends here. Uh, and I'm talking about the wrapper, because any short filler cigar will flake, and the most expensive cigars are not short filler, but a short filler cigar can still be a high quality, like, tannin flavor cigar. Yeah. And I really uh, love the smell of this before you light it. I don't know if you took the time to take a, a sniff, but I really like it. It's got like a, an almost pine smell to it. I've had a few of these. Mm-hmm. You actually introduced me to these, because I was buying expensive cigars up there, and I was complaining that their prices were so high, and you were like, man, you just need cheaper taste, like I have. <laughs> these are like my favorite ones I've found, and it was a snake oil. Um, the snake oil in the Wild West, I think, are the best things they have to offer. I will say that if you are looking at Gunslinger cigars in general, and I'm only reviewing the snake oil here, but one I will never review for you is the Pale Face. I really like the Pale Face. If you like really dark, heavy Maduros. Then this Connecticut cigar will apparently appease you. Wait, I don't think the so. Pale face? Yeah, which the Pale Face is their lightest oh. Connecticut cigar. Okay, never mind. Which one am I thinking of? I don't know. Wild West, maybe? No, Wild West isn't a Maduro, though. But it's a dark natural. They had a really nice dark one. But I mm -hmm. like... Never mind, no, I sound like an idiot. Yeah, I was like, uh, that's a Connecticut, dude. It's got classic... Yeah, Connecticut yeah, yeah. flavors, I don't like Connecticut. completely masked by the taste of overwhelming ash. I hate their pale face. I would never, ever, oops, I would never, ever, ever order their pale face. Even if you're into Connecticut's, I would get the snake oil before I get their pale face, because it's a lighter cigar. For a natural in particular, it's a lighter cigar. Like, it's, it's tougher than a lot of Connecticut's, but it, it's... Most naturals are going to be more bitter than this, and uh, Maduro's certainly are. For me, if I wanted a Connecticut, I'd just have a cigarette. <laughs> I don't know, man. There are some Connecticut's I really, really like. Monte Cristo's come to mind. Monte Cristo Classic is a Connecticut, and that's a, that's a perfect 10 cigar for me. You even rated it a perfect 10. Now, you were earlier in your cigar journey, if you will. But like, for yeah, the most part, cook. for the most part, right? That's a, that's more of an exception that. Yeah, that's okay. that's the exception, not the rule. Mm -hmm. Most Connecticut's I have had, I don't care a whole lot for. Uh, what's Roland say in the Dark Tower books when he's got a gets a cigarette from our neighbors? Um, it's like smoking hot air. Yeah, he's like, it's like sucking hot air or something like that. And then the guy, Roland Deshane in the Dark Tower series. And the guy uh, reaches over, I can't remember his name right now. I think it's John something. Reaches over and rips the filter off for him and gives it back. And he's like, I guess that's a little better. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a good, uh, like, if you're not having a cigar specifically to enjoy the cigar but more you're having a cigar because you want a cigar but then you're also gonna like have a conversation or do something a cigar while you're working this is a really great cigar for that I do buy it for a cheap cigar because sometimes I want a cigar and I don't have enough money to spend eighty dollars on eight ten dollar cigars yeah so which so is uh these. I've been finding out is about middle of the road for price wise. Yeah, ten dollar cigars is like the high end of average for prices. It's like buying a bottle of a Eagle Rare. Yeah, it's like buying a. Th that's what I was gonna say. It's like buying a thirty dollar bottle of whiskey. Really, at $30 bottles, you're, like, just breaking into the world of finer whiskeys, or at least higher-priced whiskeys, because some whiskeys yeah. that are over 30 are not worth what they're priced at. No. Knob Creek comes to mind. Yeah. And That's don't get me wrong, we re-reviewed Knob Creek, and we liked it. Uh, it'll come up later, I think, if we haven't presented it as an a the AV Compare already with it and McKenna. I think we did. But, anyway... Um, I gave it a better review after not trying it after, like, an excellent bourbon, but... 
crop baskets. Um, it's overpriced. Heavily. If they uh, knocked it down ten bucks, I think I'd knock it up a point. Because <laughs> then it'd be like the same price as Larceny. I'd still buy Larceny, but... Larceny could probably go up $20 and I'd probably still buy it. Yeah, at least every once in a while. But for, you know, $10, $15 more than what Larceny for a... Fifth gosh, you can get a. Hmm. Excuse me. A, uh, a 1.75 liter. Yeah. Whole extra liter. Yeah. And spend about the same as you'd spend on a bottle of Knob Creek. Yep. So. Okay, so we dropped the ball, but we're back. Again. Yeah. Um, one thing I will say about this particular one is it is starting to flake right here where we're at. Or at least where I'm at. Most of the time I don't have that problem with these though. I have to ash it more often. It's definitely more of a budget cigar. But uh, I would give it a solid six and a half, se seven. I'll give it a seven. That's what I was going to say, is seven. So, on cigar scale, this gets a seven. It's not like you have to hand this to all of your friends, but if you had to hand out cigars to all of your friends and you didn't want to spend you know, high-end Cohiba price or something. This would be a good cigar for that. And they would like you. Yeah. This would be a really nice intro to real cigars. Like actual... Yeah. Non-flavored, just... Yep. Well, a nice, like, middle-of-the-road natural. Yep. So... <clears throat> and it goes really well with a uh, nice, light, easy bourbon. Yeah, it does. Which is primarily what I drink. Yeah. Like off camera, we'll buy new whiskeys to try, but then if we're like, I just want some whiskey to drink, nine times out of ten, we come back with bourbon. Ten times out of ten. Mm -hmm. Three. Every once in a while, I'll spring for a scotch, like I did with Ardmore. I got that to drink more than I got it to review. I just happened to be like, yeah, hey, we'll review it, because it was a cheap Highland scotch. Cheap yeah. Highland single malt. I saw another one. It was right by the Ardmore that I was thinking about grabbing, but I got uh, that instead. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, watch here in like two or three weeks for our Eagle Rare review. Um, you've heard me talk about Eagle Rare. It's like the untouched legend. But uh, as far as these stink oils go, I would recommend if you're going to buy some cheap cigars and you don't want to buy like factory throwouts or go to a gas station, then, uh, and you don't like flavored cigars, because it comes down to whether you like flavored cigars or not, or just if you want to change it up, uh, I would get the snake oil. And I've started going to the snake oil more often than I go to the Isla. So. Yours. So that's interesting. Yours is. Your cigar? Mm hmm. Look at it now. Yeah, it's flaking off up here now. Mine's. I'm smoking it too fast. I'm oh, puffing okay. on it too often. But it still shouldn't unravel like that. I wonder if. Because, I mean, they were kept in the same humidor and. Yeah. I wonder if mine was. Maybe directly on top of the. Uh... They both were. Oh. Hmm. The only one that's not directly on top of it is that, like, 20-inch Isla that I've got in there. <laughs> the Churchill? Yeah. But, uh, I think that's all we have for today. So, head it into your weekend, uh, unless you have anything else to add. They're a really cool mascot. Oh, yeah. The coolest thing about Gunslinger and Outlaw Cigars is their mascot. It's very similar to what we want to do with Steve. So, here's one of their uh, portable humidors. Yep, we both I'm have sure their, see their portable humidors. Mine's got the mascot on it. Mine's just got his head. But they've got a lot of cool supplies and stuff you can probably buy online as well, but I know you can order their Gunslinger cigars. So Yeah, if you're in the uh, Kansas City area, definitely... Uh, oh, they're the nicest cigar lounge in the area, personal opinion. Yep. 
They have two locations. One's on the Missouri side, and one's in uh, Olathe. Overland oh, Park. Overland Park. It all blends together. It's all if you're from here, you know that. Yeah. Um, if you're having trouble finding them, or whatever, just Google it. it pops you right up. Yep. And uh, they have a lot of really cool events. Probably more events than any cigar store around. So if you are in the Kansas City area, definitely check them out. And they're not paying us for that promotion either. No, we, we like them. And we'd rather send you there than our little hole in the wall shop. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, without further ado, I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. We are the Dirt Road Met. Let me know in the comments if you like the net. If you like this video, uh, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, drop us a comment, and check out our uh, Facebook page for daily updates.